what are we doing today, Al? Girls, girl. Girls, girl. So I wrote this song as like a bit of a joke. And then I was like, this could be a big bop. Just something minorly pissed me off and I wrote a big dramatic song about it. We have no idea what we're doing with this song. We need, a, we, need a, we need the rest of the song, don't we? Cause... I mean, should we write the bridge now? Yeah. I just don't know what to do for... We're not having the egg shaker. Right. Okay. Good ideas then. So... Can I have the guitar? Do you mind? Bloody I know, day. but you're not really part of this, are you? Uh, uh, lyric. You could just do the. Um, uh, the I think I after. should do a bit of a bridge that's like. I'm talking pre drinks with cocktails and. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Wait, let me write some lyrics. I'm talking B minor. Oh, okay. Long talks and cocktails with. You don't know what's going on in my head. No, I don't. You I can't help. You on. can't help. I'm talking long talks with cocktails and mini umbrellas. Do you like cocktails and mini umbrellas? Yeah. That's the funny lyric. Yeah. Rhyme umbrellas would tell us. <laughs> <laughs> umbrellas doesn't need to rhyme. No. Long talk. Umbrellas and jealous rhyme. <laughs> It doesn't need to rhyme with umbrellas. Quartos and minerals. Give me ten minutes to write half a bridge. Oh my god, it bangs. It's such a heavy, big tune. It's just so much going on. I'm so, I'm so like, I'm so inspired right now. Like, this is the next club number one tune. What do you think? Boom. Boom. Just we've just gone full on Taylor Swift shake it off oh, yeah. and we've added shitty midi trumpets but I think it's a vibe I think it's a total vibe and let's get rid of that delay mm. I need to be staccato really not to criticise your work or anything staccato, they are yeah but not, not the, without the delay on oh right yeah We are tracking the song. Now is the time for the pre chorus. Let's go. I get that these times are hard, but you got it. It's just hard, it's a shame, babe. Al thinks there's too many syllables, but I mm. think there's never enough. But it sounds less. But if I go, times are hard, you've got a jealous heart. It doesn't make sense. It's meant to be times are hard, I get it, but you're also jealous by nature. Okay. Do what you want to do, it's your song. I've decided to do it Al's way because I think he's right. <laughs> it's hard to put headphones on with one hand. <laughs> Catch you later. Da, da, da. It's the Emma Rosso moment. And, and the bad da da. The ba, da da da. I want that as my alarm in the morning. UVs. Emma Rossi, this is for you, my love. Beautiful. What do you think? Awesome. <laughs> That's nice. Too jazzy? Too jazzy. What? Too jazzy? Yeah. Yeah, too jazzy. <laughs> too jazzy? <laughs> so my dad had the idea to end the song on just bass. Here we go. How retro is that? Very retro. Thank clap. you, Steve. Thank you, Steve. Thanks, Steve. Thank you, Steve. All hell, Steve. We've just had an oh shit moment. Oh my God, I look bald. My hair. <laughs> I realised girls' girl was too high. So we're lowering it, but the problem is we had loads of audio, didn't we, Al? Yeah. So Al's moving all the MIDI down a key now, and he's going to have to redo the bass and the guitar, and I'm going to redo all my BDs. <laughs> 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 that sounds like a Doctor Who set, doesn't like it? From the seventies. Yeah. <laughs> we do have bad news. We've got to change the key. I mean, because it was on that horrible part of my voice where I just I sounded a bit like a cat, didn't I, Al? Mm. And it's better to do it now than when it's finished. Aren't working today.
today. I thought it was good. It's just like the... the it's just not in time. It sounds a bit like... Yeah. But you better do it again then, love. Yeah. Hello. First of all, I made chili lime cashews and they are really good. Second of all, today we are doing the new vocals for Girls Girl. You tell them about the cashew nuts? Oh yeah, I told them about the cashew nuts. Of course I did. Goes about saying. You do one more take. One more take. Standing up. Okay. Am I not good enough for you? Just because it's it's a new environment. Now it's a new know. vibe, isn't it? Sometimes you just gotta put your desk belts on and appreciate the work of art that you've made. You know. Hello. Hello. Wilson. <laughs> How many days together have we got left? Three? Four? Three? three? Uh, it's Wednesday, I go on Saturday, <laughs> do I? No, Sunday. Sunday. Um, so I've had a throat infection. So um, we have not done anything for, I'd say, two weeks. Oh, we have. Um, not in terms of music, really. We did a photo shoot for Girls Girl. Um, I don't know when I'm going to release that. I don't really want to release it in this current... Um, like social and political climate doesn't feel right so um, wait in a couple of months probably to release that one um, till everything's a little bit more back to normal but I have asked Emma to sing on it um, we had some funny moments earlier I'll insert those clips off of Facebook now so when I asked Emma to do a harmony on the girls girl bridge this is what I sent her as a demonstration Um, first of all, I don't have, bear in mind, I still do not have any range because of my illness. <laughs> Claudia, I'm dying with laughter, like, I keep singing this and it sounds like, <laughs> it sounds like a mouse. <laughs> You got that last note. I thought you'd do a different note. You sound like Gus Gus in Cinderella. It's perfect. We're about to hear what it sounds like in the song, and I'm really excited because I think it's gonna bring it to life. <laughs> It's the fact she did that note! Everyone check out Emma Rosso, because uh, voice of a god. So the other day, I um, I had a think. I was like, what if I'm using girl's girl wrong? What if that's not what it means? But I googled it, and girl's girl does mean that you are a great girlfriend to your friends. Um, anyway, I found the Urban Dictionary description really funny, so I've put it in the end of the song. Barry, wow, Megan, you are a real girl's girl. I just think it takes all the seriousness out of the song, which is what we want, because mm -hmm. I was worried it was bitchy, and I don't want it to be bitchy. It's just about those girls in life that we all meet, and you're like, oh, you're not great. Hi, friends. It's been a minute. Um, Al, is, Al is gone. He's left me. So I've been doing bit. Girls, girl, is the whole point of here. <laughs> so I've got Ellie to do talking at the end, and it sounds cool. <laughs> So yeah, having Ellie talking at the end definitely um, helped break it up a bit. Look at my new t-shirt, how cute. Girls support girls. Yeah, girls go. Girl. So that's cute. We've also added trumpets at the end. Um, I don't know if I have the most updated version of that on my laptop. If I'm honest. Oh, I made album art. Wow, I'm all over the place. Girls go art. Are you ready for this? You, you're not even ready. You're not even ready. Are you ready? Oh! I've gone for like a peachy tone. Look at her. Sexy. Sexy. Um, I photoshopped these two balloons in, which you can tell if you look close, but. And um, 
I'm tough with that. That was all me, guys. That was all me. Woohoo. I think I'm probably going to release it at the end of July. Al is just finishing the song, but he doesn't have a lot of days off at the moment, so I've got to be patient. Oh, by the way, I got a haircut. <laughs> Al's mixing. I'm laying here. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I'm a bit hungover. So we're at Al's house. Because that's legal now. We have finished. Girls go. Woo! Can you be more enthusiastic? Sorry. This is weeks of work. This is months of work. Woo! Okay, well, anyway, we finished it. High five. Um, it sounds fucking amazing. So, Al had nearly finished mixing the song and then I realised there was a new harmony that I wanted to do, so we're gonna put it in. So, Al is still mixing. How's it going? Not bad, I think we're nearly there. Woo! And I'm writing a press pitch, which is always the funnest part of a single. Um, but this is the worst part of being an unsigned artist, it is fucking press. Stop being kid, I'm so excited! That's the new harmony. Eat me lovers! So, excuse me for looking like this. I had too much fun last night with my friends. Obviously, I've got face mask on my face. Oh my God. Um, obviously at a safe distance, you know. You know, be careful. Um, I've got, maybe I should, do you know what? This is the end of the video and I'm gonna make myself look nice for it. So, go back guys. Hi, I am back, looking more like a human. Um, so, since I last saw you, that was only a few days ago, um, so we sent Girls Girl off to get mastered by Al's lovely friend, Pedro. It sounds amazing, and it sounds so good. I'm so happy with it. And then I just sent it off to my distribution company, and um, they're called Emi Bands. I've been, used them since I first released when I was like 14 years old. And I have like a balance with them from my current uh, releases. So I just keep releasing with them because I didn't, like, it was 25 quid to release Girls Girl, but I already have royalties of like 50 quid from Good Mood, so I could just use them to pay for it. It's fun being an unsigned artist. You, uh, you make your money, and then it all goes into the next one. So I've done all that, it's all sent off. Release date is the 7th of August, which is also the day I move into my new flat in London. So I don't know why I've done that to myself, but you know, it'll be fun. It means I can double celebrate. <laughs> Just want to thank Ellie for talking at the end of it. Check out Ellie Dixon. Uh, she's the other voice you hear at the end reading up the Urban Dictionary definition. Um, want to thank Al, obviously, because he produced it. And um, as you can see from these videos, he puts up with a lot of my shit. I'm very bossy and I'm very annoying. And yeah, Pedro for mastering it. And you guys, ultimately, for listening to it. Thank you so much. Um, I can't wait to keep releasing singles of this album and eventually the album. I'm really excited. Exciting times, guys. Thanks for watching. Lots of love.